So we're going to run it. I can see the build has already succeeded, so that's great. So let's go ahead and take a look at where that file is. So if I go into um, my project folder, if you recall, we made the derived data folder relative to the project. And this is one of those reasons why. I go into derived data and then into the subfolder named after my app and then build products. And in this case, I did it for the iPhone simulator. And then there it is. There's that MDX file. And so you can see um, why we wanted to make it more easy to, to find. So what do you do with this MDX file? Well, what you need to do is you need to upload it to the Citrix endpoint management server so that you can then publish it to your end users. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to launch um, a new window to a, uh, the console, the administration console for an endpoint management site. And we can see here, um, you know, my, my typical analyze window. This is like the initial window when you come into Citrix endpoint management. What we're going to do is we're going to publish an app. So I'm going to configure apps, click on the add button. And for this use case, because I have an MDX file that I'm going to distribute to a select number of people, I'm going to use the MDX option. I'm going to give it a name. And then we're going to configure this just for iOS, right? And it asks me for an MDX file to upload. So we're going to find that MDX file that we had mentioned a moment ago. And here it is. Um, and I had actually built this previously for uh, iPhone OS. And that's what you want to do. Obviously, you want the one for iPhone OS. And I'm going to go ahead and open this. And it's going to add a bunch of information. And this is the, um, the input values that we had entered into that generating an MDX script. And you can see there's also um, some of the, the default policy settings. In particular, uh, cut and copy is restricted, which is good. That means you can only cut and copy to other ma managed uh, MDX apps. And then likewise, a good one is obscure screen contents. So I like this. I'm going to click Next. Um, no approval necessary. And I'm going to publish this to all users. I'm going to hit Save. And now let's go ahead and actually try this out on, a, on um, an app. On an actual iPhone is what I mean to say. So one of the easy ways to do that and to, um, to mirror a, um, a, an iPhone is actually use QuickTime. And you go into File, New Movie Recording. Perfect. And now I'm going to um, click on this drop down and I'm going to select iPhone. And I already have my iPhone plugged into um, my computer via a lightning cable in, in this case. And so now I've set up um, my iPhone with mirroring. So the reason that you need to do this is so that you can install Secure Hub. In the simulator, that's not really possible. So in this specific case, I've um, already installed Secure Hub. Um, and I've previously uh, ran the app. And we're actually going to do that right now as well. So I'm going to change it to the iPhone. And I've already enrolled it inside of Secure Hub as well. So if I go ahead and stop my iOS simulator, and now I'm going to launch it in the iPhone. Basically, we're sideloading it into uh, an actual iPhone device. And I'm going to show you those policies that we had talked about. So right now, it's building it for um, an actual iPhone. And it's launching it. And you may have seen this before. This is actually an obscured screen. And that was one of those policies um, that was set by default. And here is um, that lovely animation video. Um, but the key thing is now if I go ahead and if I, let's say, copy this. And again, here's that obscured screen, right? You can tell that um, it's, I'm not able to, to see it unless I have um, already you know, authenticated with Secure Hub. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into Safari, and I'm going to try and paste it. Now, it's hard to see, but I'm actually um, doing that finger press, and it's not allowing me to paste. And that's because we have blocked the copy from the managed app. And so we're not allowed to exfiltrate, to export that data into another app. So that concludes how you 
um, basically build your simple app or not so simple app with the Citrix MD, uh, MAM SDK and how you modify your code, how you generate that MDX file, how you upload and publish it into Citrix Endpoint Management, and then how to test it and see those policies in action.